Hey everyone, Nick here. A magnanimous person is someone who is very generous or forgiving, especially towards a rival or someone less powerful than oneself. And today's video is about the most magnanimous person I've ever met in my entire life, Dr. Dennis Gonzales. This is a good one, people, and it's brought to you by No Ideas Media, creating pragmatic conversations about divisive topics because yelling at each other is dumb. Visit No Ideas Media on YouTube or Facebook or check out nogmo.ca for a less heated look at genetic engineering in food. Speaking of genetic engineering in food, that is the very thing that brought me to Dr. Dennis Gonzalez's door. In case you're unfamiliar with this guy, he's responsible for creating the genetically engineered variety of papaya known as rainbow papaya. Here's how this breaks down. Hawaiian papaya industry booming, ring spot virus shows up, industry in serious trouble, Dennis hears about this and works with local farmers like the Kamiyas to develop a resistant papaya. This is a freaking major deal. You wouldn't be wrong to say Dennis saved the Hawaiian papaya industry, even though you'd be hard pressed to get him to admit it because he is without doubt one of the most humble and kindest people I've ever met in my life. He invited our whole film crew to his house for starters, gave us all the time we needed, and was really appreciative that we didn't ask him for a sound by interview. I've got almost two hours of tape with this guy and it is easily one of the best interviews I've ever captured in terms of content. It's also one of the best interviews I've ever captured in terms of experience and we'll get to all that in a second. To start off with though, I want you to hear Dennis's thoughts on the impact that music has on the acceptance of this technology. You know, the Hawaiian music, there's something about Hawaiian music that is smooth. In 2011, when the transgenic papaya was just being allowed into Japan, and uh, Carol and I uh, were invited to Japan at a biotechnology conference to, uh, you know, to kind of publicize the entries of the papaya, which was going to be at the end of 2011. There was a, a gathering at the U.S. Embassy. And usually with the U.S. Embassy, the ambassador will say something for five minutes, and then shortly after that, someone kind of whispers in the ear, and then they, they leave because they don't want to listen. Well, we, uh, we sang, uh, Carol learned a Japanese song. It's called Sakura, a very popular Japanese song. But she learned it. So as part of my talk, in talking with the rainbow papaya, she got up and sang this song. And I tell you, the ambassador stayed all the way to the end, and we had a luau, and then we sang, as I was flashing the slides on who helped develop the rainbow papaya, we sang Somewhere Over the Rainbow. But, but you know, all of that, I could see brought the subject of what we were talking about to where I wanted to be. The papaya effort is a human effort. It had nothing to do with money. We never did it for money. Uh, essentially, I was just doing my job as a plant pathologist. But it has gotten, uh, I would say, mixed up with this whole controversy because Biotechnology, by far, 95%, more than 95%, are just a few commodities, mm -hmm. and they're by the big companies. Mm -hmm. Whereas papaya is just nothing. Um, but, you know, that, that's, that, that's why I, I really feel music is the international language. I, just, I could listen to him talk for hours, and I did, and it was awesome. But the best part of my day with Dennis was after the interview. Dennis and his wife Carol decided to give us a musical treatment like those lucky folks in Japan got back in 2011. Yeah, uh, this here is a uh, Hawaiian medley, Waipio and Omakalapua. Um, that uh, we, we like to sing uh, because uh, Carol and I really believe that um, uh, communication through music is a good way. And, and I, I really think we can bring the human side to this uh, GMO. Hey, no,
Yeah. That was for free. <laughs> Just amazing. And you think that would cap off like the most blissful day ever, right? Not even. We got to chatting about music and he shares a song his son wrote about papayas, which was awesome. And then I ended up sharing that I was going to be married in a few months. And Dennis got this really excited look on his face and bustled into the kitchen to get his wife. And the two of them came back into the living room and acapella sang a song to bless my upcoming nuptials and wish my wife and I luck and prosperity in our lives. And I'm getting emotional just thinking about it because this was easily one of the smartest and most accomplished people I have ever met. And here he is standing in his own home, taking time out of his day, singing a song directly to me with his wife about my marriage. It was magnanimous. That is the only word I can use to describe that experience. I've never been so humbled in my life. When I hear people say, oh, all those GMO scientists are just paid shills, Dennis is who I think of. This is the image that comes to my mind. Dennis is proof that solving problems with genetic engineering doesn't make you a shill. To wrap up this video, I'm going to leave you with a word of advice from Dennis. Thanks for watching. I tell you, if, if, if you folks somehow, you don't have to use this music, but keep in mind, everyone say when they want to feed the world. But by this, oh, do you really want to feed the world? And when you really want to feed the world, then you figure out ways to do it. And that's part of the human touch that a lot of people miss. A lot of people miss that, I tell you.